A couple of months ago, we rented some kayaks and we went down the Elkhorn, which is um, just outside of Frankfurt or in Frankfurt here in Kentucky, and we loved it. And we've kayaked before, um, but we decided to go rent those to see if it was something that maybe we'd want to go purchase. So in Chris and Laura fashion, one day we were kind of bored and we decided to go out and buy two kayaks. Since then, we've gone to Cave Run Lake and then we've also just um, kayaked kind of fishing on uh, Jacobson Park Lake, which is only like a five acre lake. So, um, but they do have like catfish and stuff in there. But anyways, today, we're at Mill Creek Lake. This is not a huge lake. It's about 27 acres, I believe, that I read online. And we're gonna explore it. We're gonna go back there, but it's super clear. There's largemouth bass. I don't remember what else. <laughs> but we brought our fishing poles and we're gonna see if we can catch something. I have yet to catch a fish. Chris bought me a fishing pole last year and we've gone a couple of times just casting, you know, next to a lake, but I've yet to catch anything. So hopefully today I will. Fishing poles, check. Did you get one? You got one? No, I'm stuck. Oh, you're stuck. Not how you want to start. <laughs> yeah. So Chris had casted like his first cast just standing on the side and his lure got caught on a rock. So he just had to cut the lure loose and hopefully we'll be able to retrieve it with the kayak. I put a bobber on it, so hopefully I can retrieve it. It was just stuck in a rock, so should be fine. I mean, I can see it, so I'm sure we'll be able to get it with yeah. the kayak. Got all the waters, life jackets, but the most important thing is right here. My coffee. Do you think I'm gonna catch my first fish today? Yes. What does that silence mean? I don't know. Uh, yes. I'm feeling it. I think I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get something. Yeah, it looks. Now, if I can real. reel it in and not flip my kayak over or, you know, oh. poke myself with the hook. All of that's up for debate, but. I mean, I'm looking forward to <laughs> big things from you today. Everything I've taught you. What have you taught me? How to cast and reel. Taught me how to cast and reel. Taught you how to fish. But not in a kayak. Going to retrieve his lure. You got it? Awesome. Success. Success. Every time we've gone fishing, I've lost a lure. I've gotten it caught in a place, a brush or tree branch or something that isn't accessible for us to recover. So the fact that Chris was able to recover this one. so peaceful out here. You just hear insects, birds. It's just really peaceful. Chris and I are super blessed to be able to come out here during the weekdays and not come and do these things on the weekends. <laughs> we try to avoid that because this is what we want. Nobody around. We want it all to ourselves.
I have one. I have one. Oh, let's see if I can get it on camera. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, fishy. I'm sorry. I got one. Okay, breathe. I need your help, babe. He's dying. But look, I got one, guys. My first fish. I don't know what it is. I think it's a bass. I need Chris's help getting him off. My fish. You want to grab him? Like that? Now you can just put him in the water. I got a fish. Okay, bye, fishy. Sorry. Good job. Never said it was a nice sport. I got one. I got a fish. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of you. Well, now I can just sit here and Not drink my coffee <laughs> and I'm satisfied. First fish and it was a bass. It was a bass. Wasn't a very big one, but it was a little No, one. it was a baby. It's fun, but it makes me feel bad. Like well, it's they think they're on. about to eat and, and then they just get, get stabbed. You get <laughs> instead. A hook, it's a little bit hard. Yeah. Because, like, they can get stuck all over the place. Yeah, I don't know if I like the double hook thing. I could see how that could be beneficial for, like, a large fish. Yep. All right, back to it. Let's see if Chris gets one. Hopefully not the same one. <laughs> Scoreboard, Laura one, Chris zero. The only thing I can take comfort in is I taught her everything she knows about fishing. I'm not gonna lie, I was optimistic that Laura was gonna catch a fish, but I didn't think she was gonna catch a fish. Not that I don't think that she couldn't. You know, it's we're new to fishing. We're new to fishing on kayaks. So we're doing two things at once. So I just wasn't hopeful. But now I feel the pressure and I have to catch a fish. How am I gonna catch a fish? My head's spinning now. I hope she doesn't catch, I mean, I want her to catch another one, <laughs> but I need to catch one first. <laughs> and she's already had another bite, so we'll find out. This lake is awesome because I caught the first fish here. Who would have thought I had to come all the way to Kentucky to catch my first fish? Not that we had fished a lot in Texas. We had just bought the pole uh, before we moved, so. I mean, but like, I caught like several fish. Yeah, Chris like caught. Before. Yeah, there was this stocked pond um, in the neighborhood that we lived in, and Chris caught multiple. What were they? Were they bass? He caught multiple, but I never caught one. And I mean, we probably went, I don't know, six, seven times. Not an excessive amount. And we'd go for like an hour maybe just cause like the mosquitoes would kill us. But um, yeah, I never caught one. So very exciting. He's heavy. Come this way. This is really hard to do in a kayak. 
Poor little guy. Chris is going to help me get this one out too because it's deep. Bye, fishy. I'm trying to stay away from Laura right now because she's the fisherman. She's caught two. I've still yet to catch one. I should have brought Noah or Owen because she said if we would have brought Owen that she wasn't going to fish. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm happy for her. Somebody caught, caught fish. 